Hello grade 9 special mathematics class. We are now on our new lesson, slope and inclination. This is a topic for uh, week number 6 in analytic geometry. So we are now through discussing the distance formula, the midpoint formula, and the division of the line segment. So here we are on a new topic for week 6, slope and inclination. Milk determines the inclination and slope of the line. Learning objectives, find the slope and inclination of a line. Draw a line through a given slope and a given point. Find the slope of the sides and medians of a triangle. What is the missing, I mean, what is the meaning of this sign? Is it icy road ahead? Steep road ahead? Curvy road ahead? Trucks entering a highway ahead? What's your answer? The correct answer is steep road ahead. What does the seven percent mean in the in the picture? Seven percent is the slope of the road. It means the road drops seven feet vertically for every one hundred feet horizontally. Yeah. So from these pictures, what is slope? Let us now define. The slope slope is the steepness of a line okay so that's why in the picture steep road steep road ahead ahead is a vision. so slope is the steepness of a line slope can be expressed in different ways so it can mean uh, algebraically y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 it can also mean rise over run or can be it can also mean vertical change over horizontal change so a line has a positive slope if it is going uphill from left to right so remember that positive slope and a line has a negative slope if it is going downhill from left to right it's going down from left to right then it has a negative slope so the slope of a line is the ratio of vertical change to horizontal change when moving from one point on the line to another point on the line so the slope okay, uh, we have here the formula y sub y sub 1 minus y sub 2 all over x sub 1 minus x sub 2 or it can uh, mean the other way around y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over 2x sub 2 minus x sub 1 which will result with the same answer. Now, let us determine the slope of a line in the picture. When given a graph, it is easier to apply rise over run. Now, start with the lower point and count how much you rise and run to get to the other point. So rise is three. So let's count from this point, one, two, three. So there is a three rise. Then how about the run? Let's count. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So therefore, the slope of this line is one half. Lowest term of three over six is one half. So the slope of the line is one half. Notice also the slope is positive because uh, the line increases from left to right. Number two, find the slope of the line that passes through the points negative two, negative two, and four, one. So when given points, it's easier to use the formula. Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 all over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Y sub 2 is the Y coordinate of the second order pair. 1. Y sub 1 is the Y coordinate of the first ordered pair. What? Ne negative 2. So we have 1 minus negative 2 all over 4 minus negative 2. And that means 1 plus 2 all over plus 4 plus 2. So 3 over 6 is 1 half. Okay. Can you follow? So when given the graph, it's easier to use the rise over run. But when given two points, it's easier to use the formula here. M equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So by the way, M is the uh, symbol for slope. Small letter M. Did you notice that example number 1 and example number 2 were the same problem written differently? 
yes so in problem number one it was uh, given a zip graph or a picture then we use rise over run as a formula for slope which we obtain the same answer one half and as you can see the given points are yes negative 2 negative 2 and 4 1 so they were the same problem written differently so you can do the problems either way which one do you think is the easiest so is it rise over run or using the formula so whatever you think is the easiest then uh, it's your choice which one to use now find the slope of the line that passes through 3 5 and negative 1 4 okay here are the choices 4 negative 4 1 4 negative 1 4 okay can you answer this for 5 seconds Okay, time's up. The answer is 1 fourth. 4 minus 5. Wait, wait. 4 minus 5 is negative 1 all over negative 1 minus 3. Yes. Negative 1 over negative 4 is positive 1 fourth. Next, find the slope of the line that goes through the points negative 5, 3, and 2, 1. Okay, let's use the formula. 1 minus 3 all over 2 minus negative 5. 1 minus 3 over 2 plus 5. The answer is negative 2 over 7. So, when the slope is negative, uh, the, the line is going to the left direction. Alright. Determine the slope of the line shown in the feature. What do you think is the slope? Okay, when the graph is given, I think it's easier for you to use rise over run. 5 seconds. The answer is negative 2. Let's determine the run. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let, uh, we're, we're trying to consider these two points. This point and that point. Two. And uh, passing through the y-intercept 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is run. While the run uh, I, I mean the rise is 4. While the run is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then, since the, the line is uh, going from going down from left to right, then it's negative. It has negative slope. So, negative 2 is the answer. How about this? Find the points on the graph. Use two of them and apply the rise over run. Okay. Rise is 2 over negative 1. Ah, uh, ano pala yun? 1, 2 pala yun. Nakala ko ano. So, it's just the same. 2 over negative 1. This is 1, 2. So, the rise is 2. Run is negative 1. So, 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. So, the line is decreasing. So, slope is negative. What about if the uh, given line is horizontal? So, what is slope of a horizontal line? So, the, the line doesn't rise. So, meaning... 0 over the number is 0 so therefore the slope horizontal line is always 0 okay all horizontal lines have a slope of 0 because it doesn't rise all over a number any number 0 divided by any number example here in this point 0 divided by any number here is still 0 so always remember all horizontal lines have a slope 0 how about this what is the slope of vertical line the line doesn't run so any number here divided by zero is undefined so all vertical lines have an undefined slope okay remember a horizontal line have zero slope and all vertical lines have an undefined slope so this is the slope of a line the formula can be y sub 2 minus y sub 1 or x sub 2 or, I mean y sub 1 minus y sub 2 all over x sub 1 minus x sub 2 or can be the other way around y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 so for p sub 1 with the coordinates x sub 1 y sub 1 and p sub 2 with the coordinates x sub 2 y sub 2 okay uh, you 
can apply the rise of the run. Number 4, point the slope of the line that passes through the points 5, 9 and negative 2, 4. So we have 9 minus 4 all over 5 minus negative 2. It's equal to 5 over 7. If you use uh, the formula y sub 2 minus y sub 1, still you get the same answer. 4 minus 9 is negative 5, negative 2 minus negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. So still it will yield the same answer, 5 over 7. Practice. Find the slope of the line that passes through the points negative 3, negative 5, and 1, negative 3. Okay, change in y all over change in x. Negative 5, negative 5 plus 3 all over negative 3 minus 1 is negative 2 over negative 4, so 1 half. Negative 2, negative 2 all over negative 4 is 1 half, positive 1 half. Okay, there is another new term here, aside from slope, inclination. The inclination of the line is the angle that the line makes with the positively directed ray on the x-axis. So, if we have here a line, and then... You, you drew the rise and the run here the change of x and the change of y uh, you can form you can form an angle here which is called the angle of inclination and the formula here is tangent uh, alpha or tangent theta or tangent x whatever is equal to the change in y all over change in x which is also equal to the formula for the slope so tangent a is equal to the slope and to solve for the measure of angle A, we are required to use your scientific calculator. We, have, we must get the, the inverse tangent of M, or inverse tangent of the slope. Okay, remember, this is the formula. In finding the measure of the angle here, uh, inverse tangent of the slope, or uh, in your calculator, scientific calculator, calculator press tangent, I mean shift tangent, shift tangent, then you press the uh, value of the slope of the line. Sample, find the angle of inclination of the line that passes through 2, 9, and 1, 2. So the slope is, wait, 9 minus 2 all over 2 minus 1, so 7 all over 1. So 7, 7 is the slope. So the, to determine the angle of inclination, all you have to do is to press shift tangent. Shift tangent 7, can you see it? Shift tangent 7 is equal to wait, shift tangent 7. 81.86 rounded to the nearest hundreds, 81.87 degrees. 81.87 degrees. Caution, if the angle is obtuse, the calculator will respond with the negative angle. So to bring your answer in line with the definition of the angle of inclination, just add 180 degrees to the answer the calculator gives to produce the obtuse angle. For, for example, the slope of the line is negative 2. So in solving the angle of inclination, you're going to press shift tan negative 2. Shift tangent negative two. And shift tangent negative two. Then press equals. Okay, it's negative sixty-three point four degrees. So if uh, we get a negative angle here, just add one eighty to produce a positive angle. Plus one eighty degrees. So one hundred sixteen point six degrees is the angle of inclination Yon. Add, just add 180 degrees pag negative yung angle na, na so practice find the angle of inclination of the line that passes through 2 3 and 6 negative 2 first let us solve the slope 3 plus 3 minus negative 2 or 3 plus 2 equals 2 minus 6 so we have 5 over negative 4 or negative 1.25 so to solve the angle of inclination again using using your scientific calculator press shift tangent negative 1.25 which is equal to 
negative 51.3 degrees. Then, to have a positive angle, just add 180 plus 180. And, equals 128.7 degrees. It's the angle of inclination of the line that passes through 2, 3, and 6, negative 2. Remember the word Voxhoi. V for vertical lines. U undefined slope. X number. Next equals the number. This is the equation of the line. H horizontal lines. Zero. Zero is the slope. Y is the number. This is the equation of the line. Draw a line through the point to zero that has a slope of three. Okay, how do we do this? First number one, grab the ordered pair to zero. Okay. You can see in the graph. Flat to zero. Then from 2, 0, apply rise over run, write 3 as a fraction. 3. Write 3 as a fraction, so 3 over 1. Okay, that means uh, 3 is the rise, run is 1. Because 3 divided by 1 is still 3. Then, since the slope is positive, you're going to the uh, right direction, 1 unit away from the present point here. 1, 2, 3, that's the rise, 1, here. You know, 1, 3 over 1. Then, plot this point, plot the point at this location. And then, connect the points. Draw a straight line through the points. Then, therefore, this is now the line uh, through the point to 0 that has a slope of 3. Okay. Now, there, the slope of a line that goes through the points R6 and 4 to is 4. Find R. So all we have to do is to substitute this given in the slope formula. Just plug the given information in the formula. Slope is 4, so we have M equals 4. We have 2 minus 6 all over 4 minus R. Simplify. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Then you can... Uh, apply cross products or cross multiplication 4 will be multiplied to 4 minus r negative 1 times negative 4 and 4 times the 4 minus r by distributive property we have negative 4 equals 16 minus 4r okay. uh, subtract both, si both sides by 16 uh, we have negative 20 equals negative 4r divide both sides by negative 4r Therefore, R, the value of R is 5. So the ordered pairs are 5, 6, and 4, 2, which will yield a slope of 4. 4 by Yes, 4. So for your exercises, that are A, find the slope of the line that passes through the given points. Number 1, the points are 2, negative 7, and 1, 4. So we have negative 7 minus 4 over 2 minus 1. So, or 4 minus negative 7 or over 1 minus 2. Pwede rin yun, okay? So, negative 11 over 1. So, the slope is negative 11. How about this? Find the angle of inclination of the line that passes through the given points. Round angle measure to the nearest minute. Negative 5, 1, 2, 4. First, you solve the slope. 4 minus 1 all over 2 minus negative 5. So, that is 3 over 7. Then, solve the angle of inclination. The formula is tangent alpha equals m or tangent theta. Then, to solve for the um, angle of inclination, uh, is equal to um, again, inverse tangent 3 over 7. So, in your calculator, shift tangent 3 over 7. Tangent 3 over 7 equals 23.198. degrees. Rounding your uh, uh, measure of angle to the nearest minute. So for your TBT answer, last in analytic geometry, that's 1379 plus the summative test. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you in part 2 of this topic slope and inclination. Goodbye.